Hey everyone, CNC HD here and in today's video I would like to show you how to do waves. How do you create them? What do you need to do to have them in your map? In today's video you're going to get the answer. So for example, if we want to give Twilight Flame a few waves, because why not? Desert map with water always good. So let's give that um, desert map the water it always wanted. Uh, so water tool, water. By the way, if you hear airplanes in the background, that's because I have an airport very very close to me and the planes are very annoying. Okay, so the water is created. We now have water on Twilight Flame which looks very interesting to be honest. Um, now if you want to create waves, obviously you don't need water for waves uh, in this game. Yeah, I know, fuck the logic. Um, but here for that we need to create a few waypoints and you just tell the game where you want to have the waves. For example, that could be, uh, if we make it a bit smooth here. Now we have a smooth coast, you know, not not that smooth, but you get the idea. Um, let's do that here for that coast and let's also do that thing, smooth that a little bit up. Uh, like that. That looks good. Okay. Now we know where to put the waves exactly here. We now choose the waypoints and this should be a good position for waves. I like to shorten that here a bit and yeah, there is a, a police car in my background. Very, very annoying. So I like to do it like that. That should give this map a, a good amount of waves. And once you have created this wave path, you click on the start, so the, the first waypoint here, and you name that thing like that. Coast start one. And then you go to the end, here's the end, and you rename that to coast and one. Now you have told the game that this is... Uh, why, why didn't you... Are you retarded? And one. Ah, no. Now he has it. Now you have told the game that this is the end of the coast and this is the beginning of the coast. Coast start one. Now we go to the back. Here's the back. Back, back, back. We can do it, and this is a experiment. Experiment you have to do because I'm very uh, bad with the English language, and if you know the English language, English language, um, then this is not going to be a problem for you in uh, Wake Edit, which I will show you in a second. But if you uh, English retard like I am, who does not understand a single word in English. You have to experiment with the coasts in Wack Edit or Wake Edit. No idea how do you pronounce that. Okay, so the second way path is called Coast Start 2 and Coast Start uh, Coast End 2. There we have it. Uh, let's make that a bit more smooth like that. Okay, coast start and uh, coast start coast end two coast start coast start two. Yo. And we can also do that one because why not? So take that tool, bum 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 bum. Coast start three. I think you get the idea by now how this um, works. Coast and free. Also check 
always check that the waypoint names, names are still there because sometimes the world builder likes to screw up. Okay, so we now have to we now have told the game uh, where to put the uh, coasts the coasts, and now what we need to do is um, click save. And now here's the important part: click on file, click on dump map to file. That is what you need: dump map to file. Click on it. Um, nothing will happen. Um, which indicates that something happened. So something did happen, I will show you in a bit, but just click on a dump map to file. Now you need to move to your command and uh, conquer folder. Should look something like that. Looks a bit messy. And then you click on change date. Not, no idea what that is called in English. Uh, uh, actually, let's, let's find out. English. Um, okay, it does not change to English, no idea why, um, the, the change date. You just click on that, a sort by it, and here you will have on your latest uh, change date, Twilight Flame No Lag by Musti619 version 1A. If you open that, you will get um, that here, let's make that a bit smaller, uh, like that. So something like that, you should get something like that. That is all the map file you dumped to this file. And we need that. What I like to do is just cut that out of this folder. Um, move to the command and conquer generals zero over maps folder. And there we have it. There we have it. Insert. And now what we need to do is, um, no, I don't want the GeForce driver. We need to go to the um, to WAC edit. I will uh, give you a link in the description. I will upload the WAC edit, WAC edit, WAC edit. No idea how to pronounce that. Will give you that in the link. I will upload it to my homepage, and there you can download it. There's a readme if you want to read all the instructions, could be helpful for you, uh, also not that long. And once you have that thing on your PC or your Mac or whatever, click on it, start it up. And it should look something like that. Command and Conquer Generals Wave File Editor version 2.01 blah 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 blah. Um, you click on import. Uh, yeah, that is okay. Uh, then you go to your map folder. In, for, in this example, we have Twilight Flame. Here you have your text file. This one you need to open. Click open. And then you will get confrontated with uh, that thing. On type. Like I said, I'm a big noob in English, so no idea what radial or pond, whatever means. So you have to find that out by yourself. I have no idea what that is. I know what the ocean is, uh, ocean double, maybe double waves, no idea. I like to choose ocean for my maps. And here with that, the direction, you also need to play around with that. Um, choose what fits you best. If it's the wrong thing, just redo the uh, the whole thing and just choose the other thing. I will test it with above or left. If it's right or not, I have no clue. I will click on OK. Since we have three waves, uh, three uh, wave way paths, we will get front confrontated with coastline one, two, three. We are now at two. Ocean above a left, okay. Ocean coastline one, ocean above a left, yes. Okay, we now successfully have told the game which three coastlines should look like what, and then we click on save. Once you have clicked on save, you go to that on the uh, file name, you add the point, a dot, dot, w. A K W A K and you hit save. 
That is very important that you do that. Click on save and close that thing. If we now go back to our map, uh, there we have it. We will now have this uh, WAC file, which is a uh, WAC, WAC, folder, uh, WAC file here. And that thing we can um, we can de delete. But if we will have to do the f uh, thing all again, I would I would um, keep that. I like to keep that till I have um, made all oceans good looking. So let's keep that thing here and uh, see what that did for us. So we can save that map and close. It's also very, very important that you have the same map names uh, here also for the folder. If there's one typo in it, the wave thing will not work, just for your information. Now we start up Command and & Conquer and see how it looks like. I have no idea if it's going to show in the recording. We will find it out now. And looks good. Okay, that looks good. Let's see how the waves will uh, look. So, uh, skirmish. Select map. There we have it. Uh, we can here see the, the water. Very awesome water. And you can see some flickering. Uh, sorry for the flickering. Um, very, very sorry about that. Let's just jump into that. Hope the flickering will be gone now. And let's see. And there, boom. We have waves and it looks good. Looks very good. Okay, that link, that thing looks retarded. You need to change that thing, but the rest looks good. And that looks very retarded. Okay, so this is how you add waves to your map. Looks something like that. Looks good. Twilight flame, Twilight flame with waves. Okay, I hope you um, had some good time here. I hope this helped you in um, building in waves. Um, I will show you one more tip. If that's all what you wanted to know, you can you can turn off that video here right now because there's nothing new. What what I'm going to show you now. It's just a design tip for you. Um, if you would, if you would to like, if you would like to improve your uh, coast. Um, for that, I'm going to choose um, that thing. Zero, ten. Why not? Uh, let's do that. Just a design tip for you if you want to build beautiful coasts. Uh, boop. Okay, that we don't need. Boop. And boop. And boop. Okay. You can build beautiful coasts with the height, height brush. I suggest that you choose. 15 or something like that depends on what uh, level your map has and you level that on that something like that yep there we go that should look good now that this area is flat you go down by one or two um, Heights. So, for example, I will choose 40 now, and here we'll pick 3 and 2, or maybe 1. And now I make that a bit smaller here. So, like that. Then I will go down one more height, so 213. And I will just do the same thing, so like that. Maybe go to two size. And yes, I'm German. If you think I'm, I have a German accent, yes, I'm German. Get that question all the time. Now you go down to 12 and draw that here, 12. Just go all around that coast like that. 
then you go down to 11 I think you get what I do here so like that just go down 11 all around and around and around now you go down to 10 and now you can see that it's getting brighter and brighter and you can see the water here that's a good sign so we will keep on doing that what we do here so like that and then you go down one more to nine and here with the nine we can choose three of the size go all around 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 to go down to eight Okay, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. and go down to seven. I just keep doing that. You cannot see that very good, but I advise to keep doing what you are doing here with that. So go all around. Of course, you need to um, watch for details here. I'm just going to mess around here to just show it. Now go down to six. Um, six you will not see here on the world builder, but trust me in game you will see the six eight height whatever So keep doing what you are doing at the sixth level to it Yeah, it looks very retarded. I know and boom you successfully have added a Coast now you can choose a different texture. That is what I like to do um, maybe something with a white color, maybe that. Nah, that looks very retarded. Um, that is good. That, oh yeah, I like that. Okay, you choose that and go all around. Maybe go to 10. So that your coast has a different painting different color and then for the end go to auto auto edge out boom you successfully have added a nice looking coast and then you can just add your waypoints your coast here to the color here to the different texture like that and that should give you a nice looking coast okay uh, boop, and boop. okay let's see how that looks should look good or maybe ah uh, no let's not waste any more time that should look good um this is how you build a coast or, or how i like to build a coast i think that's a good way to build that and in the end, if you do that correctly with the right textures, you will have something like that. Looks very beautiful. Um, you can also adjust uh, the lightning. I advise to do that if you build a lot of beaches. Global light options, just play around with these settings and see what fits you best. And should give you something like that. Okay, I hope you um, liked that video. I hope it helped you how to build uh, coasts and uh, waves. Um, this is like always your CNC HD and see you on the next video. Bye bye.